Welcome to Troy, Alabama, where innovation in public power is taking flight. The local utility has been awarded the American Public Power Association's deed grant. A program that fuels advancements in utility operations. But their journey with drones started long before this. I started out uh, with RC helicopters, RC planes, years ago before drones were available. We strapped an iPhone 3 to the uh, RC helicopter and we just thought it was the coolest thing in the world. The deed grant was created to drive innovation in public power. It funds forward-thinking projects that improve safety, efficiency, and reliability for utility operations. For Troy Utilities, this grant is fueling the development of standard operating procedures for drones in live line work, helping shape the future of the industry. Before the UAS program started, it was a very manual process where you're sending out two men in a bucket truck having to boom up, take pictures with either phone camera or even digital camera back in the day. So it was a very manual process, time consuming. You know, we saw UAS as an opportunity to kind of become more efficient. And so uh, we went to Chase and said, hey, we know this is something you do on the side. Is this something you'd be interested in? So of course he was all about it. I've worked at the city of Troy for 20 years. And the way we started off introducing them, I had personal drones and there was a, a pole out in front of our house. I just decided it'd be cool to see what that pole looked like. We kind of kind of tinkered with that a little bit, you know, kind of pushed it over to management and say like, hey, check this out, you know. And it, it quickly spiraled into uh, more than one person could do full time. So we grew, started doing more and more inspections and mapping. Now you see we're using the uh, IF-1200A and the Limebird uh, payloads. And it's uh, for live line applications. So we've gone from Pretty much the bottom to the top, in our opinion, you know, as a, as a whole in the past five years. So we're very fortunate. We're very proud to be, uh, you know, part of the APPA and be awarded the deed grant. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to do any type of research. We would have been limited in our budget. Through this deed grant, we're able to partake in it. And without it, we, it wouldn't be possible. And we can share that with other utilities. You know, it benefits other utilities than just us. This is not just a, hey, we want to get this equipment. No, we, we want to show other utilities there's a better way to do this. There's a safer way to do this. And there is a never-ending use case for this. At the core of this project, the Inspired Flight IF-1200 a trusted, American-made heavy lift drone built for the toughest utility operations. Now, with support from the deed grant, Troy Utilities is developing standard operating procedures that integrate the IF-1200 with three specialized Linebird attachments. These tools are redefining how utilities approach inspections, maintenance, and repairs. Our main end effector that we started with is our aerial ohm resistance measurement tool and it's designed for taking a resistance measurement on mid-span sleeves, dead-end sleeves, to determine if it is heating. By getting the actual measurement, you can trend and know how long you have before you really need to repair it. So it, it gives you the ability to not only repair, identify, but it gives you the ability to budget. Our second end effector is our remote hydraulic tool. We have multiple jaws. We have a ACRSR jaw, so basically an aluminum steel core wire jaw, a copper jaw, and a grapple that allows you to go up and actually do hands-on work. The cutters are great for it in storm events. Tree falls on the power lines, everybody's lights are out. Now a single person or a team of two can come out ahead of time and cut that wire to the ground and go back and reset the breakers and everyone that's still on that radial feed or what have you, their power's back on. With that also is a grapple jaw. And that grapple jaw allows us to pull off uh, nests off of infrastructure that can cause flashovers or operations, which over time can be reported, you know. But that allows them to safely go up there and take the nest down since the window from when fledglings leave to when the parents come back is so short. It's kind of an all hands on, on deck kind of deal.
the reason we chose an American-made UAS was to future-proof. You know, I mean, you, you don't know what's coming down the pipeline with any administration, or and that's a huge factor for us in, in choosing the UAS. And the reason we ended up going uh, with Inspired Flight was you guys have put the time and the effort into proving it's trustworthy, you're open, you're gonna share what you have. If you're willing to share it with the government, I guarantee you you're probably willing to share it with us. So that's uh, that was a huge factor for us in uh, kind of future-proofing it. You know, we, we took a look at your maintenance manual and saw, hey, th this could last a while. You know, this is not a, you know, 500 hour drone and yeah, well, it's time to get a new one. You know, this is, uh, send it in, you know, have the maintenance done, send it back, you know. So we may have this, you know, four or five years, whereas right now we're on a two year replacement. I'm an ex-helicopter lineman, ex-transmission lineman. It's a very dangerous job. It is a difficult job. It takes its toll on you, it beats up your body. What if you could take some of those mundane tasks and put them on a drone, on, you know, we're not trying to replace the linemen. There's already not enough linemen to do the work that needs to be done now. Guys that are willing to go put themselves at risk, you know, line workers, men, women alike are going out there and working when their kids are home on Christmas. And we wanted to find a way to augment that so that these power companies and municipalities were able to widen their labor pool, could have a young individual that was good with the PlayStation or the Xbox and has great hand-eye coordination and now make them a line worker by being able to do the mundane tasks and leave the linemen and the line women out there doing the hard stuff that requires real hands-on work. By doing that, you've lowered the hazardous man hours that you put your um, team through by sending them out every day. You know, you'll, you'll hear the term in this industry, you are your brother's keeper. That's the main thing is if I can help them in some way using this UAS, I wanna be able to, I wanna be there. I wanna take them out of that situation. I wanna send them home to their family. You know, I want them to, to get home to their wife and kids and by eliminating those risks, you know, and, and using that UAS and that payload, they're gonna get to do that each and every day, every chance I get. And that's, uh, that's the main reason we want to, as far as safety goes, is, you know, we're, we're not gonna hold a, a funeral for that drone, you know, if something goes wrong or that payload. We're just gonna send it back to you guys, say, hey, fix it, send it back. You know, by using this payload and this UAS system, is yeah we're still gonna have to roll a truck but it's gonna be a pickup truck a crew of two and it's gonna be much faster and much safer so that, that's what we hope to eliminate by using this is the the danger to the people the danger to to our personnel you know that drone doesn't have a heartbeat we do the future of line work is here and the city of troy utilities is setting the standard developing SOPs that pave the way for utilities everywhere. We're still just you know, at the tip of the iceberg and there's so much more opportunity uh, for us here in Troy and really in the utility industry as a whole to really embrace this technology. Uh, you'll always need a lineman, you'll always need the bucket truck, that's not going away and I don't believe it ever will, but this is just going to assist them, make their lives so much easier, make it easier for the engineers and the supervisors back in the office. Uh, and, and just uh, improve the quality uh, of service that we can provide to our, to our citizens. Inspired flight drones paired with Linebird payloads are redefining how critical infrastructure is maintained. If you're ready to enhance your operations with cutting edge drone technology, visit Inspired Flight today and take the next step. Inspired Flight, your mission, our craft.